as a contractor, we strictly adhere to safety first, and completing this project in time is our utmost concern to improve the traffic congestion for the convenience of Filipinos. Soon, we hope to see the smiles on your faces and we completed this project. And of course, uh, with the collaboration of the Filipinos uh, engineers and skilled people. And then, good morning. Maganda uh, umaga po. Distinguished guest, Mr. Aso Tugade, uh, Secretary of DOTR, and Mr. DJ Batam, uh, Yusef of DOTR, and Mr. Koshikawa from Embassy of Japan, and Mr. Sakamoto from JICA, and all of media and everyone who are here right now. I'm Yasuyoshi Nomura from Tokyo Construction, and I'm representative of Tokyo Tobishima Megawatt Joint Venture. Today, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to be able to participate as a contractor in the contract signing ceremony of this memorable Metro Manila Subway CP-104. Beginning with the beat in April 2021, today, 5th May 2022, is the start of contract package 104, the route from Ortigas to BDC. The construction uh, area will be built to underground stations under the metro walk area, and the road in the front of Estanche Mall. The tunnel route will reach BGC Karayan Station through the two stations and Pazic River. As a contractor, we strictly adhere to safety first, and completing this project in time is our utmost concern to improve the traffic congestion for the convenience of Filipinos. Soon, we hope to see the smiles on your faces and we completed this project. And of course, uh, with the collaboration of the Filipinos uh, engineers and skilled people. Finally, we'd like to extend our gratitude to all the parties who prepared for today's ceremony. Thank you for your continued gui uh, guidance and hoping for the success of this project. Manamin Saramapo, thank you very much. Construction of the Metro Manila subway is in full swing as mobilization works have already started with the relocation of 183 empty cadets. As of September 2021, the construction of the guide wall is fully completed. And as of February 2022, 36 out of 120 or 30% of the diaphragm wall panels and 345 out of 370 key posts or 92% have been casted. By May 2022, we will proceed with the lowering of the tunnel boring machine to begin underground works by August of this year. Construction works at the depot area are also ongoing, with 40% of the total pre-construction area already cleared. The depot area in Valenzuela City will showcase the Philippine Railways Institute established to serve as the planning, implementing, regulating, and administrative entity for the development of human resources in the country's railway sector. <laughs>